gosh, it looks so good. It's right there! Oh my gosh! Y'all didn't think I would make it 10 minutes without standing on top of this mug? Of course I couldn't make it 10 minutes without standing on top of it. Every vehicle I love I do, which is why I haven't stood on like the 7.3. All right, but brother, are you ready for it? Toyota Tundra. This is the thing that I've wanted for my dang near entire life. When y'all met me, I had a Tacoma because if you're an OG, you know that I had this sick ass little Tacoma leaf blower charge, did the whole shebang with that truck. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Bought a transmission for it, about to buy a turbo for it, flipped it over. Oh, there's my stuff. We are upside down. We have a problem! Oh! <laughs> Everything in my life stopped. I started building Mustangs. I'm not even a Mustang guy, but I started building them because I like doing fun stuff. And drift cars are kind of fun. Yeet's gonna be a drag car and that's gonna go fast. And I like going fast. But my real love sits right here. This is a 2014 Tundra. And this is the thing that I have literally wanted since I've been 17 years old. The actual real reason is because I used to drive one when I was in high school. I drove my dad's and I literally about killed myself in it. I ran into a telephone pole at 45 miles an hour in the driver's side seat decided I wanted to square it right up to the driver's side door. So I about killed myself and it saved my life. So I decided ever since then, I love the truck so much, I want to get another one. Here is my 2014 Toyota Tundra. Welcome to Poe Boys. In this video, we're starting in a truck that y'all haven't seen in a hot minute because believe it or not, I haven't driven this truck because I haven't been able to drive this truck. A lot of you guys didn't know that. But every time I drove it, I wasn't allowed to. But we ain't talking about that. That was over six months ago. We are on our way to pick up something that is more important than anything I've ever seen before in my entire life. This is something that means so much to me. And I think if y'all have been watching the channel for a while, you might know what I'm talking about. Let's take a road trip. Y'all are about to see what's going down. Now, I stole the dirt bike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're the one more excited. Go on, look. Yes, sir. Very good. Hey, yeah, man, Chris. Tanner. Nice to meet nice you, man. Me, man. I see you on the videos, dude. <laughs> the keys are in it. They're probably either in the ignition or on the center console. The upper control arms are about a year and a half. The ball joints we just replaced uh, awesome. two weeks ago. Awesome. It's got the changeable ball joint. Nice. Brand new in and outer move tie rods. Brand new lower move ball joint. Yep. The uppers are ready lift ball joint. Uh, new sway bar bushing. This truck's been my baby for a while, man. You can tell. As Man. you see, it's cold. No ticking, knocking, nothing. It sounds really good. Full pressure. Man, I don't know if you realize, I've been a Tundra fan for the longest amount of time. I had so, one when I was in high school. Man, they're the best trucks. I've been wanting one ever since. I had a Tacoma, wasn't the same. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's your base knob. Really? That's yep. game? That's, yeah, that's your base game. Wow. That's in a really good spot, too. Push the top left button start the bar. You Wow. That sounds amazing. 
You ought to put it on a wrap song. Oh my God, it sounds good, man. Man. Well, you figure, I paid 30 for the truck years ago. Yes, sir. And I've got probably 20 more in it, 15, 20 more in it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. So whenever Chris's people were looking at the F-250, they looked under it and they found out there was a ton of oil leaking. It was about two to three quarts low on the dipstick. So that's no bueno. We thought the whole deal was going to be over. I, I see it's above the exhaust manifolds because you can see it dripping down on them. But I can't see exactly where it's coming from. The only oil that is above the manifold in the plenum is going to be turbo pedestal. Yeah. What's the turbo what pedestal? Where's so the turbo's about the turbo sits, so like it's got oil that it's, goes in. Yeah, and it's drain. the oil cooler. It's basically oh, a little O-ring on the bottom side of it. If she comes back and they say it's good, we'll go in the house. We'll work. So we'll work. Yes, sir. As long as everything else is good, we'll work. So. Yes, I'm willing to work with you. Go ahead and finish up the She drives great. I feel the most nostalgic right now from my old truck. It drives good though, doesn't it? It's exactly like the old truck. Now see, this here, this road, it sucks with these Y tires. It sucks. Yes, sir. It but that's good. just Y tires in general. You get on the highway, it's smooth as butter. Really? I mean, it don't move. You can let go of steel drive 100 miles an hour for 100 miles, as yes, long sir. as the road's straight. And that was the same thing on that Tundra. You see, you F250 got a full tank well. of gas, too. Yes, sir. I filled it up right before we left. No, I'm saying you got a full tank. Oh, yes. I see okay. That as well. You asked him, I just talked to my guy. Yes, sir. He said, normally it's a $1,600 job. He said, you're supposed to pull the cow ball. He can do it without it. He said, it's common. The O-ring right there? Yes, sir. He'll do it for 1000 bucks, And that's using OE Ford part. Okay. That rings. Yes, sir. So, I mean. I've had it off on that truck right there without mm -hmm. pulling the cow. Yeah, he's not so, going to pull the cow. Yes, sir. Oh, like I always do. There's no wind off the tractor way. Huh? No wind off the tractor. Is it good? It's good. That's good. Damn. Leslie said, Man. he said that's a common deal. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, oh, Leslie said that's a common on those. Okay. It's usually a $1,600 job. We're, we're reading like for you. Yeah. 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 Hundred times. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> it's a freaking thunder. <laughs> wait, wait. This is yours? This is my daughter. I just said, took a hand and everything. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's get in this mug. Hey, what do you got it set on now? Because they said it's hot. It's on economy. Okay. That's yes, the sir. 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 Holy cow. Oh my gosh. I'm in a Toyota freaking Tundra right now, and it's driving, and I'm making it happen. <laughs> and you own it. Oh my gosh, so for the people that are sitting right here with me, they've been hearing how long I've loved a Toyota Tundra and how long I've wanted a Toyota Tundra in my life. It is now time for that to happen. So you two, remember when I had a Tacoma? We did some crazy stuff. We got a Tundra now, which is even better, which means we're going to do even better crazy stuff. One of the first few things we're going to do with this thing is going to be interesting. I think y'all should subscribe to watch that video. But let's go ahead and take a trip home, as you can't really see much right now. But this is a freaking rig. On game. <laughs> On game. On game. Let's in go! go! All right, brother. Are you ready for it? Thank you so much, bro. This bitch got the projectors, the Morimoto's, literally. And everything, dude. <laughs> when I come to Georgia, let's freaking do it then. Bro, please, I'm dead serious. That shit would be hilarious. Y'all didn't think I would make it 10 minutes without standing on top of this mug? <laughs> of course I couldn't make it 10 minutes without standing on top of it. Every vehicle I love, I do, which is why I haven't stood on like the 7.3. But this is the Tundra. And hear me out. Adios. She's a limited baby. <laughs> Which means she got the sunroof, she got all the options, and I'm about to show y'all that stuff right now. <laughs> I traded my F-250 in for that, which I want to let y'all know, a lot of people said never trade your dad's truck in all that stuff. My dad hated that truck, he wanted a Tundra as well. So I'm kind of fulfilling both of our dreams and I get to do it for him. So rest assured, at least I know that that was the right thing. Let's go ahead, show you what it's all got done to it. I'm going to go through the first mods of when we first got the truck, what the previous owner did to it. So 
we've got these nice headlights. I don't know exactly what headlights they are off the top of my head. So they also have the Morimoto bulbs and they flash yellow whenever I unlock the truck. So the headlights are really cool. We've got the Iron Cross bumpers. We've got the 2018 plus Toyota grill that's color matched. We've also got some LED fogs as well, which all work. Everything on the fogs works, the light bar and everything doesn't work wiring wise. You'll see that next video. The wiring on this truck was pretty atrocious and I had to fix it before I felt like I was safe to drive it around because I thought it was gonna catch on fire. Just watch the next video and you'll see what I'm saying. It's worth watching because I ain't never seen nothing this bad in my life. Let's go to the suspension. We got Bilstein 5100s. We got ready lift upper control arms, which is a good mod to do whenever you lift your truck up. Just a nice little leveling kit. It's a three inch up there. It's got new front end parts all the way around. On the back end of it, we've got TRD sway bars. It's got two inch lift box in the back. These are Moto Metal 962s, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but either way, they're Moto Metals, not the best wheels, but they don't look too bad. It's got Kenda Cleaver tires on it, 33, 12, 520s. The wheels are 20 by 12s. It is the TRD off-road package, which basically means that it's got the nice suspension on it. This truck rides really nice and it's got Bilstein 5100s on it. So there you go, TRD stuff. Tail lights, these things are freaking sweet. They're the sequential babies and they do sequential things because whenever they turn on and whenever they turn off, they go Bruh. Yeah, just like that. So the truck's been really done up. The guy who bought the truck really didn't spare any expense on it. The only thing that I could say could have been done better was maybe the wiring. We got this bumper back here, which looks freaking awesome. We got this right here, which is the rear reverse cubes. Those are tied into the reverse sensor. I did a donut, so I had to turn that off. But those are tied in the reverse sensor. LEDs pretty much all the way around this truck. The back center cab light is LED as well. Then we've also got the rear sliding back glass. If you don't know anything about Toyota Tundras, the whole back glass slides down on a window. It's really cool and it looks like it's broken out, but nope, the window is literally just down there and it rolls back up whenever I press a button. Pretty cool. This truck is a limited, which means it's got all of the freaking mods and all the functions. Inside, it's got rough country seat covers. If you look at the room in the back of a Tundra Crew Max, it is freaking huge. You see how much room I have here? So the back seats even on this thing are comfortable. I don't feel bad putting two six two men in here because I did on the way home and they both had this much room of leg room. Under here, we've got these Rough Country neoprene seat covers. Probably gonna get rid of those and put some cat skins on here, but we have leather underneath, baby. It's just the light colored leather and I'm really a big fan of black colored leather, so I might change that eventually. Now we go to the front of the truck. This thing has all of the options. Turns on just like that, not a single issue. Got an aftermarket radio in it. This thing's got CarPlay, Android Auto, all of the fun stuff. We got two 12s in back. Let me just show you what it looks like from the dashboard of this thing. And let me also show you something else. You press the two button right on it. And when you bump, deep, boop. Okay, so I can't show you the speaker system because it's connected to Bluetooth. But what we're gonna do is show y'all basically this thing drives like a champ. If you know anything about these trucks, you know that they also off-road like a champ too. They do pretty good, actually. They do very good. <laughs> and then we go up the hill. Just like that. No issues on a Toyota Tundra. So this thing is a driving truck. It drives good. That's the first time I did a donut in this mug. Well, I'm going to Gavin's to Georgia. We're gonna be taking the truck and we're also gonna be taking the car. So maybe I might get another jacket. I do like me them. It's just a six merches that don't lose sight stuff because you get the chance to win a car. I can't win a car, but I like repping the merch. But either way, if you want to get it, you can win a car. I just wanted to show you the Tundra and show you basically the first impressions of this thing. It is a rig machine. There ain't no better way of putting that other than it does what you need it to do. And it's Toyota and it's great.